What was to import in Italian? Importare. Importare. And this is literally like indoor, like a puto, no? Put, puto, or passport, passport, which in Italian is passaporto, which literally just means it passes port, passaporto, passaporto. So porto is put, and porta is door. So we have il porto, the put, and la porta, the door. So sometimes in Italian, you will notice that a change in gender with nouns gives us a shift in meaning and a new word, like il porto, the put, and la porta, the door. How would you say the doors? Le porte. Le porte. So importare is to import, and this also means to matter. Of course, this is where we get the meaning of importante from, no? Importing, mattering, important. So, importare is to import and to matter. So, how would you say it matters? Importa. Importa. It doesn't matter? Non importa. Non importa. And you could also say I don't care. To say I don't care, you will just say it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. So, how would that be? Me and to me is the same. Non mi importa. Non mi importa. I don't care. Non mi importa. If you want to say something like, yes, it matters, you can say, yes, that it matters. Yes, that it matters. Si que. Si que importa. And of course, this que meaning that is like in perché, because, because of that, for that, perché. So you might hear that as well. Si que importa. It does matter. How would you say, I do care? Yo sí que importo. Sí que importo would be, yes, I do matter. But we said that I, I don't care or I care would be, it matters to me. So how is that? Me importa. Me importa. And if you want to say, you know, it does matter to me, I do care. Sí que me importa. Sí que me importa. Yes, that. No, sí que. Yes, that. It matters to me. Sí que me importa. How would you say, what does it matter? Que importa. Que importa. Good. Que importa. So there we have que as what, no? So when we say si que importa, we have que like that. Yes, that. Yes, that it matters. It does matter. But then que importa, we have que as what. What does it matter? You remember how it's to have? To have. Avere. Avere. With avere. a V. Avere. A-V-E-R-E. And this was extremely irregular, no? What was to know? Sapere. Sapere, which was also very irregular. But avere and sapere share a lot of their irregularities, no? For example, we had you have from avere. How was that? I. Good. And you know from sapere? Sai. Sai. He or she has... A, ah, we just remove the I of I and we get A. Ah, and he or she knows? Sa. Sa. So we have these two very irregular verbs, no? And they share a lot of their irregularities. What was the word for possible? Possibile. Possibile. And I can, I am able. Posso. Posso. We can, we are able. Possiamo. Possiamo. And you can, you are, you are able? Puoi. Puoi. Good. P-U-O-I. So we have posso, possiamo, puoi, but to can, let's say, or to be able, of course we don't have to can in English, is potere, potere, P-O-T-E-R-E. Potere. So again, potere is a very irregular verb, no, to get posso, puoi from potere. But uh, potere is easy for us to remember because it's where we get potent from. How would you say potent in Italian? Potente. 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 Potent. No? We have an ENT. We have an ENT that we can add an E to. Potent. Potente. Or we can think of going from potere, getting rid of our ere and putting ENTE to get our ente adjective. Potente. Potere can also be a noun. If you say il potere, it means the power. So il potere is the power. How would you say the powers? 
Ipoteri. Ipoteri. Good. So, potere, to be able, like sapere, to know, and avere, to have, is seriously irregular, no? Potere, to posso, to puoi. He can or she can is può. 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 That's P-U-O. So, this is crazy irregular, no? It doesn't even end in an E or an A for he or she. Può. P-U-O. But we do the same as with sapere and avere if we think about moving between I and A and sai and sa. We just remove the last I, the last I sound, the last I from the U form. So we have sai, sa, I, A, puoi and... Puo. Puo. Good. The word for he is lui. L-U-I. Lui. Lui. He. He can... Lui può. Lui può. Good. And the word for she is lei. L-E-I. Lei. Lei. So she can. Lei può. Lei può. So you might find yourself using these little words for he, she, uh, more often than other words like i or tu, as it's, as it's more ambiguous, no? We have può for he and for she, for example. We have a, sa for he and for she. So the word for he, lui, L-U-I, and the word for she, lei, L-E-I. How would you say, can he come, using the word for he? Lei può venire. What does... Lui può venire. Good. Lui può venire. Può venire lui. Can she come to eat, using the word for she? Lei può venire a mangiare. Very good. Lei può venire a mangiare. Può venire a mangiare lei. Ao, ao, like in our house, is nostro, nostro, N-O-S-T-R-O, nostro. So how would you say our house or our home? La like nostra casa. La nostra casa, which would sound more like, you know, our house or our home. We can change the order a little bit to get more the feeling of our home. La casa nostra. Casa nostra, mm. just casa nostra. So if you were to say, can she come to eat at our house? Can she come to eat at our place? How would that be? Lei può venire a mangiare a casa nostra? Lei può venire a mangiare a casa nostra? The word for but was ma, M-A, ma. Ma. How would you say, he can't, but she can? Lui non può venire, ma lei può venire. Good. You repeated venire, but you didn't have to necessarily, no? You could say, lui non può, ma lei può. Or also for ma, you could use pero. That also exists in Italian for but. Lui non può, pero. Lei può. Very good. 